old-timers of Reddit, which year felt worse than 2020 and why. My parents still think the economic crash of 90s that happened in Finland was worse, and has in Finland killed more people in the form of suicides than Corona has thus far. I was just born around that time, and lots of people just lost everything. Companies folded left and right. Loan interests were crushing people. Then right after that we got dot-com bubble. Yeah, Finland never recovered from that actually. I don't remember the exact numbers but the percentage of people working has never reached what we had before the 90s crash. Remember reading about that when I was doing some uni work on how bad the subprime crisis was, compared to ones before it. Turns out Finland did pretty well during the subprime crash. Finland and Finns have this ingrained feeling of how things can turn to beep at any moment, and how suffering is part of life. Granted, my family comes from a very small town in the far north and emigrated in the 70s, but I know that's something I was raised with. Work hard, keep your head down, don't make a racket, live simply and always, always prepare for the worst. My grandfather said 1967, he had recently immigrated here from Liverpool and as many of you are aware, the summer of 67 riots in Detroit was one of the worst riots in US history, and contributed greatly to the economic collapse of Detroit that, that we still see plain as day to day. He worked the downtown and had to drive to work with a shotgun in the passenger seat, his entire drive was past immolated neighborhoods and businesses that had been completely looted, empty and were on fire or burnt to a crisp. I have heard truckers tell stories about riding with shotguns at their side around Detroit during that time period because of all the crazy beep going on in those days. Combine that with how NYC was in the 70s and it really makes you remember things could be much worse. Wait. Is that where I call shotgun comes from? 2008 was a really bad year. Big financial crash. Lots of people lost a lot of money, especially from their savings and retirements. Lots of layoffs, including me, and really high unemployment and few jobs to move to. Not sure it was worse than 2020, but I was better prepared for 2020 thanks to the pain of 2008. Wasn't that the year of swine flu as well? Swine flu was just a bad flu. Some people freaked out about it but it was just an above normal flu season, nothing like COVID-19, which even though it has a low CFR is just bizarre and random in its tendency to hit some people, really bad while being minor for others. 1963 because President Kennedy was shot, my teacher cried and my father left home. My dad was in high school and swiped the memo about JFK's assassination from his teacher's desk that day. I need to get that framed for him sometime. Bombing of Serbia 1999, NATO was only supposed to bomb military objects, but they bombed hospitals, markets, random populated areas. I was in the hospital with my dad when the sirens came on the whole hospital went to the basement, lucky the hospital wasn't hit, after the danger my dad drove us back he told me not to look out the window, being a kid I did look only to see innocent people dead along the whole street as the flea market was hit on a weekend. I am 25 yo now I still have nightmares about it occasionally. Also NATO used prohibited weapons with uranium which also caused a lot of PPL to get cancer from the radiation years after. I remember the news coverage which was not shown in the US, a kid in a bummed out residential building, hanging upside down with his legs impaled by rebar and his skull bashed open, brains dripping out. It still haunts me. Truly horrible, but it prevented another 100 Srebrenikas. I'm not an oldie but I'd imagine the years between 1939 to 1945 were pretty rough. Even few years early, if you are Chinese in Manchuria or a Jew in Germany. Being Chinese pretty much sucked throughout almost the entirety of the 20th century. The last quarter of 2001 was more intensely miserable. 2020 misery is more spread out and not quite as terrifying. 2001 was akin to living in a beehive just after the rock hits. Does that make 2020 living outside the beehive, trying to have a nice picnic while some douchebag kid tosses his rocks at the beehive? My great uncle survived in and as a Jew in occupied Amsterdam through all the fear and famine. He says what he is going through now with the pandemic is a far worse experience but only because, back then he was a young child and his older brother was able to make him feel safe. Now he's the one meant to help his daughters and grandchildren feel safe and he feels like he's failing. 66 million years ago.
Me and my friends out grazing, having a great time, when a giant rock from the sky ruins everything. Luckily, luckily, I had giant rock insurance. Geico or State Farm. Geico. It's so easy a caveman could do it. I'm in my 40s and this is easily the worst year. 2001 was rough but you could still go out and you didn't fear for democracy. In fact, we united as a country and had the sense Bush would try to do the right thing. I suppose whether they like Trump or hate him, nobody claims that he's a big force for unity. Oddly enough, it's one of the only things we can agree on. The year 1970. People dying or being maimed for life in a stupid, nonsensical war. Richard Nixon president. The government refusing to listen to hundreds of thousands of people protesting the war, and people of all sorts not just college kids and hippies. I participated in a huge protest in D.C. and walked down Pennsylvania Avenue with a lot of other people, holding the hands of my two kids. We are speaking to our government. Never forget. 1963 was pretty bad with the Kennedy assassination. But I don't think anything in my 79 years can compare to this year. It's just horrible in so many ways. From your perspective, what's the most concerning implication of this year's events on the future? I'm 54. I'm retired Navy and spent one year deployed for nearly 300 of 365 days. This is by far the worst year of my life. About to be retired Navy after 25 years. Been there, shipmate. I empathize. Started with the Tet Offensive in Vietnam. It was a military disaster for the North Vietnamese, but a big surprise to the American public they had been told the war was effectively won. And from there it just got worse. Student riots. City riots. MLK was assassinated in early April and the ghettos exploded. Then in early June, I was on a South Vietnamese hilltop firebase. One of our less English proficient officers came up to the American advisors in the afternoon. You know Kennedy, yeah. They shoot him. The three of us looked at him. I said, yeah die we, back in 1963. So? No. He said, they shoot him now. Then he got frustrated with us and stomped off. Weird. What's up with the die we? We couldn't get American radio in the daytime, but later that night we found out what he was talking about. Another Kennedy. WTF is going on back home? I got back on leave in Denver. America was nuts. I couldn't walk through the airport without starting a fight. I wasn't fighting. Someone would want to yell at me, and someone else would start yelling at him, and eventually they'd forget I was there, because I wasn't. My instructions were to keep walking. The war had come home. Racial justice had graduated to racial war. It was almost a relief to get back to Vietnam. Seemed saner. Bad year for the USA. 1969 was only better because some of the things people were expecting to happen, didn't. But it wasn't much better. My dad told stories of his childhood that I find horrifying. Probably somewhere around 1940, he was a child in what was then, small town in the rural American South. His dad was a salesman, and would travel for weeks at a time, with no one knowing when he may return. They did not have phones. The only way they could get anywhere was walking. Once, it was winter, and they were down to their last bucket of coal. He and his sisters and his mother had gone out into their yard, and picked up every last scrap they could find. They had a coal-burning stove, and that was the only way they could keep warm or cook. They had no idea when his dad would return, and if he returned, how much money he would have. They had no way to call to ask anyone else for help, even if they did. Everybody they knew was so poor back then it would have been very difficult to get help. When they were literally down to the last few pieces of coal, the church that they would frequent when their dad was in town, and able to drive them, sent a truckload of coal to get dumped in their yard. My dad told me that to this day, he still believes that it is an absolute godsend miracle that that happened. Personally speaking, 2002 the dot-com bubble burst and I lost a cushy job that was pretty bad. 2008 Great Recession happened, again was laid off that was pretty bad too. 2019 was awful. I found out my recently deceased father had an entire other family. I guess technically, we were his other family. Met the ones he abandoned last summer and it was incredibly awkward and for some reason left me, hollow and extremely full of guilt. Old enough to remember the Kennedy assassination and was of draft age during the Vietnam War, and this year is unprecedented. 
Anything even mildly bad on top of COVID-19 is just amplified and all of the really bad stuff, civil unrest, wildfires, global warming, political upheaval, etc. That keeps coming.